Welcome back. Today was the second annual Bloomberg Sustainable Business Summit sponsored by TD Bank. And everything from global warming to carbon prices and consumer behavior as major players are trying to figure out what the future is going to look like. I had a chance to sit down and talk with Karen Clark Whistler. She is Chief Environment Officer at TD Bank Group about what she hoped would be discussed at the conference. This is a kickoff of a two-year arrangement we have with Bloomberg, and the whole two years, which will have multiple events, is going to be focused on the low-carbon economy. Now, we've all, we're have all we all talking about the low-carbon economy, and you know our sense is that we all kind of know where we're trying to get to, but there are a lot of issues around the pace and scale that we're going to get there. So today and over the next couple of years, you'll see us hosting events where we really try to dig in and get practical about how are we moving forward and what does success look like? Um, on that digging in and getting practical, I know, you know the low, TD's low carbon strategy has been important to you. And you've recently, yes. I understand, joined 11 other banks working with the UN. Tell me a bit about that and sure. what can you tell us about moving that forward? Yeah, thank you. Um, so, you know, TD, uh, I mean, it was probably 10 years ago that we recognized that climate change was going to be both an environmental and economic megatrend. And we have been um, looking at that and studying it and try to understand it for the better part of 10 years now. Um, so I think from, from that perspective, um, I think where we are now is, okay, we, we know what the impacts are. Um, and like I said, we know where we're trying to get to, but how do we actually quantify this? How do we actually put together um, solid information, uh, be it financial information that asset owners and managers can use, um, as well as information that can be used from a risk management perspective within the bank? And that's really um, what the pilot study, which is trying to bring to life the Task Force for Climate Related Disclosure recommendations, is aimed to do. Got it. Um, that is a mouthful, that last one, that, that committee. Don't ask me to say that one I again. Won't, I won't, <laughs> um, I won't. I want to talk about the green bond. I remember yeah. you and I talked uh, about a green bond issuance in Canada a few That's years right. ago. You've just ha issued a US dollar green bond, and if I'm not mistaken, demand through the roof. Correct. Yeah. Super, super exciting for us. Um, you know, we had great success with our green bond in Canada. Uh, it actually helped us spawn a really significant uh, green bond underwriting business, but for us it felt like it was time to go back. And um, a real target, as you know, for TD is uh, growing our business in the U.S. And we felt uh, the timing was very good now to look at commitments to the green economy in the U.S. And uh, very exciting, we ended up upsizing the bond. Um, very high quality investors, 70% uh, green investors, subscribed through the roof and uh, quite a number of great new investors for TD. You, I should have actually started talking and asked you this question before I asked you about the success of the green bond, but for people who may not know, what is a green bond? Refresh yeah. us again. Very good. So really what a green bond is, is um, as you know, a bond is raising money um, for the bank to, uh, to use for its purposes. And really what a green bond says is we're going to raise this money and we're actively going to apply this to activities related to the low carbon economy. Um, so, you know, one might argue that these are things that the bank might be financing anyway, but in our case, we're applying everything to very strict criteria around low carbon. All of them will be loans uh, as opposed to our own operations. So really at the end of the day, what we're saying is, hey, we have confidence in this. Mm -hmm. This economy is happening. The train has left the station. Like, let's get on it. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you also, you, um, you know, as chief environment officer, and I think you're still the only one I know of uh, that's working at a bank. Um, uh, you know, you made a commitment, I think, about 10 years ago, uh, to really, you know, lead on the uh, lead on uh, the environment to be carbon neutral. Yeah. When you kind of look at your path, how, are we are we well on our way now? You know, we feel really good about where we are. Um, you know, for the third year in a row, we were the only Canadian bank on the Dow Jones Sustainability Index for the world, um, which is, you know, and again, leading on the carbon disclosure project. So we feel we've met a lot of our objectives. And certainly when this started, it was about, let's figure this out through our own operations. But, you know, the momentum over 10 years is now very strongly moving towards finance and investing. And let's face it, at the end of the day, that's where financial institutions can make their biggest contribution. So that's where we're headed. Karen, thanks very much. Thanks, Kim. Karen Clark-Whistler, Chief uh, Environmental Officer at TD Bank.